In this video you will learn how to perform static analysis for a composite component. Post process the stress and strain results in hyperview. Check the composite stresses, composite strains and composite failure criteria for each ply. In this example, let's perform static analysis for this composite model. Material and properties are already defined for the model. Let's assign a failure theory for the model. Click on property and within the entity editor, in the FT field choose the desired failure theory from the available list. Here we choose Hill Failure Theory. Now, let's apply constraints and loads to the components. Right click on the model browser and click Create Load Collector. First let's constrain the model. So, name it as SPC. Go to Constraints option in the Analysis panel. With the Node Selector active, select all the nodes to be constrained completely. Make sure that all the DOF boxes are checked and values are set to zero. Click Create and all the selected nodes will be constrained. Create one more load collector to apply the force. To apply force, go to Forces option in the Analysis panel. With Node Selector active, select all the nodes where you want to apply the force. Enter the magnitude of the force and define the direction. Click Create and forces will be applied at the specified location. Let's apply the force on the other end of the model also, with different magnitude and direction. Create a linear static load step, name it as static, with the SPC set to the SPC load collector and load set to force load collector. Now, define controlled cards to get desired output. Click next and click on the global output request button. Check the box for C failure, C stress and C strain. Set format to H3D, type to all, and option to all. Go to OptiStruct option in the analysis panel to run the analysis. Save the model before you run the analysis. Click on OptiStruct button and the Hyperwork Solver view window opens. After the analysis is complete, click on the Results button to enter Hyperview window and check stresses and strains. Click on the contour icon. Click apply and you can see the displacement results. Let's check the displacement results in loading direction, that is in Z, axis. Change the result type to composite failure. 
click apply and you can see counter plot of composite failure results. You can also check the results of particular ply by changing the layers option. You can check failure index values of the model. Also, you can check composite stresses and strains of the model in each ply. You can see the animation of deflection of the model. Thank you for watching the video.